We're looking at a bit of wet weather all the way. Meteorologist Tim McGill has your real time forecast. That's right, Jim. Mainly just wet weather. Don't think we'll see a whole lot of snow at this first round, but we've got a couple chances for some flakes to fly around here. One late tonight towards tomorrow morning, mainly over northern Indiana. Another shot at snow looks like later Monday night into Tuesday. That one a little bit more promising for some snow that could stick, but it probably won't last long because it'll be pretty warm looks like overall next week. Back to about average force for now though. 60s yesterday, today 40s. 40s for highs at least through early next week, but then a warm up 50 or more possible by Thanksgiving. So some good news coming up for us next week. Temperatures right now have dipped down to the low 40s where skies have cleared out a little bit more. It's dropped all the way to 34 in Waukegan, 41 in O'Hare, 42 in Midway, 43 degrees right now in Joliet. These temperatures about 5 to 20 degrees colder now compared to this time yesterday. So we had a cold front come through yesterday and our winds have shifted off to the east, northeast off the lake, keeping our temperatures down today. Had some sunshine at times today and right now it feels like the mid 30s in our colder spots. Feels like 35 at O'Hare, feels like 36 degrees in Aurora feels like 37 degrees in Morris. So skies are clouding over. There's a system out to the west of us, kind of in two parts. One part of here on the energy across parts of South Dakota, a little bit of snow in North Dakota too. The main rain now down to the south towards St. Louis. It looks like the air is pretty dry over us right now, so it's going to take a while before we saturate things. I don't think we'll see much in the way of rain until after midnight, and even then, most of it's staying south. And that's why I think if we get any snow out of this early tomorrow morning, be mainly across northern Indiana. I think a lot of us will miss the precipitation, especially north of the city. So here's our real time satellite radar tracker for overnight tonight. Notice around one o'clock in the morning, the rain slowly starting to kind of nudge northward across our far southern suburbs. It spreads a little closer to the city by early tomorrow morning by about daybreak. Look at the snow mixing in here or changing over to snow across north central Indiana and then things will dry out looks like towards Sunday night and Monday looks to be a nice day. At least it's going to be quiet. One model suggesting we could see maybe an inch or two of snow accumulation from this late tonight into tomorrow morning, northern Indiana. That's the, really the outlier. Most models aren't suggesting nearly that much. And again, it's not going to be a big deal for us, but tonight's lows are going to get down to the low to mid 30s. The coldest spots to the north, uh, 33 in Waukegan. We're pretty close to that already. 35 degrees in Midway, 39 degrees in Joliet. And tomorrow's high temperature is right around average. Low to mid 40s, I think, for us. 43 at O'Hare, 43 in Midway, 49 degrees in Joliet. We've got a couple of days in the 40s, then a warm up again next week. So tonight down to around 35, a little bit of light rain possible late tonight after midnight for most of us into tomorrow morning and mostly rain out at the onset and during the morning hours tomorrow. Pre dawn could see a little bit of snow mixing or change over to snow in northern Indiana. But I think most of us just dealing with cloudy skies tomorrow. High of 43 degrees for us. Any rain will be out of here by about midday in your seven day forecast. Temperatures slowly but surely warming up the best chance for accumulating snow late Monday into Tuesday 50 for the high and dry force on Thanksgiving. How much snow could come down Monday night into Tuesday? It's early. I caution will change this forecast for sure. But right now this mile suggesting about a half inch to an inch possible. It'll all melt though by Thanksgiving if it does come down, Joe.